you can see the future that is being built. So you're talking about artificial intelligence. Yeah. You're talking about autonomous vehicles. You're talking about um, internet of things. You're talking about cyber security. Damn, you're just calling out my portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> this guy Yeah, nah, nah, I'm, I'm Gucci, I'm Gucci. Yeah. What are you saying, bro? Right, so yeah, Jim Jones, what he said was just game like. Yeah. He was basically saying how he took a picture of his chain, sold it for a grand. Right. And everywhere that uh, picture gets sold to, he makes money off of it. Right. Then he said something else. I don't know if people were listening to what he was saying. Because mm. he was giving Charlemagne and, uh, what's it, Ange Angela, uh, Yee. Yee. Angela Yee. He was yeah. giving them the game like. He, he was like, Charlemagne, if you take your book, Take a picture of the book. Yeah. In fact, take a picture of every page in the book. Yeah. Throw it on the mm. NFT. You're going to get somebody that's going to want to buy every single page of that book. You, you get what to collect. You said, yeah, you get other people. Like If you do it that way, you spread it out, you get random people buying it. Exactly. And then there's one person that's going to want to buy everything. Piece so it up. Source every page and then piece that up. Right. Exactly. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. As they go through that journey, obviously you're getting money through. I saw... I saw I probably am the first uh, entertainer per se to sell an NFT eight months ago. I took a picture of one of my uh, Vamp Life chains and I gave it to my partners over at Zap Theory. They was trying to show me what the NFT actually was. And he came back and told me, yo, that picture sold for a thousand dollars. I'm like, what do you mean? You just took a picture of my chain and somebody brought it for a thousand dollars. And then have recently with the NFT boom, the person who actually brought the first picture had resold it for over five thousand dollars so now and then i get a certain percentage of every time my nft gets sold so I'm always in the loop and then you know as the ethereum goes up my uh crypto wallet also goes up so as long as i keep the money inside of that wallet as long as these these uh platforms keep hitting numbers i, I make money on both sides i have no idea what you're talking about but i need to learn well, right now you could take you because you're the owner of your books, right? Mm -hmm. You could take a picture of your book and sell it as an NFT, and somebody will have the only digital copy of the cover of your book, wow. and they're gonna buy it for some change. Maybe we should do that together. Imagine that through like let's say your book's five hundred pages. Yeah, yeah. You're getting so much money. You're getting royalties from each page, from everything. and it's yeah. a thing now, isn't it? Do you to like, think that for somebody trying to, to force it a little bit though. Now. Yeah, that's like, that's my that's my it. question because it's like. I don't understand. I don't, I don't, I don't, but then again, I don't want to, I don't want to tear it down because a lot of times, you know, I like to actually do my own due Research. diligence before mm. I speak on it. Yeah. But, um, from obviously from a, I would say I'm still, <laughs> I'm still new to it from a new standpoint with NFTs. I think I, I fail to see where the value is in that. There's no value. Saying? There's no value. Yeah, it's like they're like, creating it. It's just, creating. yeah, they're yeah, forcing the value. It's like a hype. Yeah, you know so I mean? that, that that's goes on to what you're saying, Siege. Yeah, but yeah. the thing is, there, there has to be some value in it for someone to spend their money. It's the first of its kind. It. I mean, with the book thing that Kofi was talking about, I can see... I can see a vision where that would have that's, some. That sounds more value. like some collected, collected. Yeah, like, yeah, but to take yeah. a photo of your chain yeah. Yeah. Nah, real, and real put cool. it on yeah, there, and, and someone's... A grand. Yeah, so yeah. someone's invested a grand in it. <laughs> a grand yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's like, mm, what's that? But then it's like, when you look at Ayota, because I saw one guy recently on Twitter, yeah, and people had to tell him, listen, you, you might need to take this down because mm. you've got your address. And basically what he's done, he, he tokenized his property, Sweet. his house. So Sweet. what that means is you can then sell part of your, like, like so it because basically what you're doing is like, you're creating shares of your property, yeah, so right. that that way it's like people can buy a piece a percentage Jeez. of your house does that make any Almost sense testing so, what properties would they there, like there you go mm. so this is the thing with iota color coins what you're able to do is you're able to color coins, digit, yeah, yeah you're, okay. so you're able to um colorize an asset which means Shit. you're you're able to have a digital representation but then also have shares in that digital asset so for example with homes obviously now with the prices of homes because mm. it's too expensive people don't have the money to buy a full-on property right? right but what you can do is you can now own a piece you can own a share so what i could do is if say for example a property is um is worth 500 grand and i don't have 500 grand but i want to have a share in that property, in that property. i could buy like two percent of that, that property is Clever. genius Clever. That you know what I'm saying? Cool. So that Very with clever. that now, I know that the value is backed by the property. Yeah, he had to put that down. It's a physical thing. He had thing. to take that off. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whereas like with digital, with NFTs and just digital 
yeah. things. It's like, well, where is the physical backing with right. that? Does right. that make any sense? Just, I, 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 I don't a, there's, know. There's, anyway, there's like I guy, said, I might. I'm, yeah. You know, what, I'm still what, new to it. So yeah, yeah. There's no tangible. Yeah, really. Yeah. No. There's there's this guy who. I'm not too sure if he sold his his collection yeah. for 69 million mm. or if he sold one painting for 69 million. I'm still doing my own research as well. Yeah, but he's yeah. out there. He's, he's like becoming known in the in the in the world, right? Yeah. So what he did was that he does a lot of digital art anyway. Yeah. So he must have, you know, put it on the NFT thing, started selling it, started selling it. And he was getting ridiculous offers for his stuff. But what he would do would, yeah. would be like, he would send them like a hard copy almost mm. of what he's made. Okay. What digitally. Yes, yes, so yes. And yes, also yes. have like a hard copy of it. As right, well. so the like hard copy acts put in as a glass. A, do you understand? Yeah. So it's like, you know, because he was like, for him, it was like, this yeah. is mad. Like, of course, I'm going to make money from it. Yeah. But it's like, right, like people are actually buying this digital yeah. version of my artwork yeah so a crazy perhaps money. with the book then maybe it's a thing where the book is actual physical book or would it be a physical book or see i don't know the only thing that would make sense for me is this, if it's almost like that whole wu-tang thing i don't know if you heard about that the album thing so it's basically an album that nobody else is gonna hear so it's only you mm, yeah yeah so in the in the with the book the only way that would make sense to me is if you're that the only is, one that can read yeah, it. It's exclusive to you, yeah. right? Or to whoever buys those pages. Mm. Yeah. Do you think? I'm mm. right? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's that. That would add some value. Yeah. Exactly. That, that would add value. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. If I do end up getting all of those pages, now I have the book. The book. I can yeah. send it on to someone who wants. I'm trying to say. Yeah. yeah. It makes sense. But I don't. Yeah. If it's if I've taken a picture of my chain, but then you can go on Instagram and see it. <laughs> yeah. Listen, people, what they're selling yeah. is crazy. They're selling I think like that's how they're doing it. Highlights, I, I like basketball. The NBA is big in, in it now. The yeah. NBA is selling yeah, highlights of last week. Yeah. Like these exclusive yeah. highlights yeah. or ones that you can go. You can go on YouTube. Yes, yeah. You can, yeah. Go you can watch like, them this on is YouTube. Thing that I don't understand. Yeah, like or maybe it's a thing where it zooms in on your sweat. So nah, maybe bro. in your video, there's <laughs> nothing. You can only see your sweat. Like to it. There's you know nothing I mean? special to it, bro. Yeah, man. What so, you said listen, about I- IOTA is mad. Yeah, yeah man. Let's, listen, there's so much to do with IOTA. And that's why, you know, obviously we left off yeah, last yeah, week. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know to, that. Right, it, I had to it, stop it, that it quick. What I wanted to even talk about, what I wanted to even like say as well is <laughs> literally just before we started, yeah, I saw because um, the way I used to monitor my my um, investment in, in crypto, I use an app called Blockfolio. Blo- Blockfolio. Right. And what they tend to do is so whichever crypto you're following, they give you news, like when the news drops on related to that crypto, yeah. And <laughs> bruv, so literally this is the news that just came out, yeah. And it's it basically says Americans have started to receive one thousand four hundred dollars checks deposits stimulus following yeah, yeah, President Joe Biden signing a one point nine trillion stimulus package. Printing money. You see where I'm coming from? Right. And this is what I was saying last week where it was like, this was what drew me to cryptocurrency, yeah. right? So because this is in relation to, is relative to Bitcoin, right? They then went on to say, this is what they went on to say, yeah? Survey says Americans could spend up to $40 billion from stimulus Easy. on Bitcoin. Easy. That would be sick. Do you see where I'm coming see. from? And so, I think that's the key as well. Not to, not no, to no, no, interrupt no. you. Yeah, that's all right. Like, investors need to follow where that money's going to go. Like, if you're an investor, you need to pay attention to what people are going to be doing with the right. stimulus everywhere. In the UK, here, because that's where you can make exactly. a lot of money. Exactly. Know? And I think people are starting to understand that, listen, <laughs> I think the same people that these stimulus checks are going to understand that, listen this check that I'm receiving has been devalued because I'm receiving it. Yes. So, so they're like, let me put this yes. towards Bitcoin because at least with Bitcoin, it, it's limited, right? And you can't keep printing. Yeah. Or, even though I also stated the fact that each time there's a new cryptocurrency, it kind of devalues away from your favorite cryptocurrency yes. because now yes. money is being redirected towards that, that crypto, yeah. which brought my attention to IOTA. Right. But I just think it's amazing. And you know, I tell people this all the time that this stimulus package, it's never going to stop. Yeah, well, man. It's never going to stop. So money will always, will continue. I say money, currency, Mike Maloney. <laughs> currency will continue Shout to get devalued. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Fact. And like, people need to start seeing this. I've, I already believe, based on that article alone, like you can see people's attitude towards, towards it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. 
you know, I think we need, like, people need to start waking and, up and towards the, the currency, the awareness, the, towards cryptocurrency. The awareness to what you said as well last mm-hmm. week about we're going to have to pay the taxes. Facts. You know what I mean? As in, yeah. like, this money that they're giving out, you're going to have to pay, pay it back. back. <laughs> Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, so that means more taxes, you know, higher rates, right. the cost of living goes right. up. So these are things that people definitely have to yeah. keep in their yeah. mind as well, you know? Definitely. Like, you know, that debt-based system that we grew up in is is failed us. Do you yeah. get me? It's failed everybody drastically. And that's why people are running towards cryptocurrency, you know? Um, so that's why I, I, you know, I bid everybody to actually study cryptocurrency. Because yeah, man, take a look it's, at it. It's, it's a lifesaver in, in a way, but also... The fact that there's so many cryptos coming out, like you, you mentioned, bro, Guop, I, I, Guop coin. Guop coin. <laughs> what happened to, to Guop coin? Shout bro. out to Guop coin. Now, I love this woman, man. I yeah. love her. She started her own cryptocurrency. Obviously, it was a bit of a pump and dump situation. Uh, the coin went up like, drastically and it came down drastically. But what she's trying to do, mm. she's trying to empower a lot of Black Americans and Black people across the diaspora right. do you know what I mean yeah. and I think that her vision, vision, yeah. her vision for what she's trying to do is really good mm. and it's just one of those things that happens in the space like you said so many people are rushing in there yeah. that you're you almost are not too sure what what real value is within a particular right. Right. A particular coin particular token yeah. because someone could have a plan to say okay this is X amount if I put 10, 15 you know, 50k here mm. and it skyrockets. People are going to jump on it. Yeah. It's going to skyrocket even more Then yeah. I'm just going to jump out. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So, but what she's trying to do is amazing. Shout out to Guap Coin. I can't remember her name, but mm. shout out to Guap Coin. She's, people go check her out, man. She's doing good yeah. stuff out there. Yeah, I think even though, even though like Guap Coin actually crashed. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. I find no, no. It, I mean, it, yeah, bump yeah, and yeah, dump, it, it, bump it, dump it happens. happens. It happens. I it mean, happens. it happened with my favorite one, uh, IOTA. So okay. I'm going to get into that. But yeah. um, this yeah, is yeah. not recent though, right? Nah, this is yeah, not recent. Okay, it's not okay, recent. Okay. But um, what I, I do like, but see, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and it's really good. Yeah, I'm really looking for this money. I quit. Let's go and really check. What's happening? It's not recent. This happened right now today. No, but yeah, no. So this is this is what I'm gonna say. That basically, because that is basically how I found out mm. about Iota, which is okay. what the slide mm. basically got into. Because what and I, shout what, out to you. That's two weeks now that you put slide together for yeah, us bro. Yeah. No, come on, these man. master classes yeah like they're serious bro they're nah, serious. Do, you, do you know what it is because with me i have so like obviously i have a lot of information so mm. it's about making sure i deliver it in a way where people can understand because yeah. it's easy for me to speak for, right. for hours on it yeah, but then yeah, I, yeah. I would understand but you know where people understand is you know it's different like even right. last week one of the major pointers that you guys picked up on the slide right if you didn't if you didn't point it out I would have forgotten. Right. Do you get I, me? I wouldn't man, have mentioned yeah, it. If I were out so, here. Nah, <laughs> yeah, nah, you guys got my back, man. For real, for yeah. real. So I think it's, it helps with And that's the another thing as well. People yeah. come in, let us know if, if you've got questions, Facts. if you don't know what we're talking about, if you like more understanding of what we're saying, do comment, do ask us. We, we you know, love to interact with you guys and reach out with you guys absolutely. so make sure you do shout us if there's anything absolutely that you don't know. absolutely i think even like doing um it helps us with like doing research as well no, definitely. and this is why i like to talk to people about things because sometimes people might think that oh i'm just talking but no nah, i like to know i like to get interrogated as well Fact, i like yeah. people to play devil's advocate because it's like oh snap i didn't think of that let me go research that. Do you know what I'm saying? And it helps you as well with your knowledge. So definitely like interact with us guys. Like let us know what you think. But, um, but yeah, going back to Guapcoin and linking that to what I was going to start off today, I was going to say the reason why I think what she did was amazing. Right? Like you said, like, I think, with the fact that it went up, what was it, a thousand percent or three thousand percent? It was crazy. It was I think, insane. Yeah, I think what that does is it lets other people that look like her, right? So people like black community, they can look at her and look like, rah, she's just she's, doing she's that. just done that. So mm. what that does is it brings attention to this tech world, which a lot of people in pop culture, I think, are only just starting to get um familiar with with the introduction of NFTs. Right. But I think with what she's done it helps shine the light more mm. that let people know that listen you know there's way more yeah there's more to this yeah. you know and that's basically what happened with with me and iota because so i'll, I'll get into like how i find found out about iota so where i used to work right concierge mm. there was a lot of young professionals that lived in the building right and then there was this one guy he worked for microsoft and um young guys bro like he's great great guy do you understand right. and um 
I think he must have probably been about 25 or something like that. And I remember one day I was I was working my shift and he just came downstairs like, yo, try and you do investing and trading. What do you think about IOTA? I'm like, IOTA? He's mm. like, yeah, this cryptocurrency. I'm like, listen, man, I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, I don't want to hear it. I'm like, I don't want to hear it because obviously with me, the the one reason why I stopped was obviously stopped um, uh, looking into more into like cryptocurrency was the fact that so many cryptocurrencies were popping up, right? And at the time, I thought I was the only person that had that um, um, point of view mm. until I watched um, Robert Kiyosaki interrogate a lot of people that a lot of crypto enthusiasts and he asked them the same question that you know what stops me from creating my own cryptocurrency and their response is typically well you could do it yeah anyone could do it Thanks. right so I once again that devalues the cryptocurrency mm. so when he came to me I was like listen man I'm not really you know crypto yeah you know and then it was like no 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 you should look into it man like it just went up from like 30 cents to seven dollars or whatever it was i was like what and it was like yeah it's about internet of things now mm. when he said that that was Ding. the light bulb moment <laughs> and i was like hold on did you say internet of things now remember one of the ep previous episodes i said if you want to start a business yeah it's very important that you look at value right because it it um, you look at value in that amount of people you're providing service to because service to many leads to greatness. Yeah. A, a beautiful quote. So when I thought, when he said internet of things, I was like, hold on a second, internet of things. Do you know how many devices will be connected to the internet, right? Mm. So as yeah. you see here, based on that quote, it is currently estimated that by 2025, there will be somewhere between 79 billion and 100 billion connected devices on the internet of things. Think about that. That is more... Yeah, that's a bit mad. That, that is that's more than... Devices, the human. Yeah. That's a lot of devices, a lot more than the human race, right? Yeah. What are we, like 7 billion? Yeah, 7 yeah, billion. Yeah. Do you know where I'm coming from? <laughs> so that is, <laughs> that is more than... 10 times. Yeah. Do you understand? So I looked at that and I thought, hold on a second. So you're telling me there's, go there's going to be a currency that these devices are going to use. Right. That was it for me. Do you know what I'm saying? And I was like, nah, I need to look deeper into it. So when I looked into it, it started to come down. I started to come down and I think it went down to about $4 when I got in and I lost about 50% of my initial investment at the yeah. time I put in. Oh, like, wait, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, 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 definitely. I okay. took an L. <laughs> yeah. I took it out, but okay. the thing is, I didn't stop, right? Yeah. And this is the thing where it's like, I, once again, when you, this is why I say to people, you need to do trading because when you invest, it's very crucial that you know where you have to jump out, yeah, right? Man. Remember the time when we talked about relationships and you were basically, we were talking about toxic relationships, how yeah. people are too invested into a relationship where it's like, because they've been invested so much, they don't know where their stop loss is. They don't know where it's like, listen, at this point, I need to make I my move. I need out. to, yeah. Dip. Yeah. yeah. So with that, with Ayo, I was like, okay, cool. It's going down. I caught a falling knife. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? So I thought, okay, I'll take my loss here. But that didn't stop me from doing research. That didn't stop my belief in what Ayo was, yeah. right? So as I looked more into it, um, I started to see that, listen, it had to do with data, right? So these internet of things, right? It's about moving data around across these devices. Do you know what I'm saying? So it was something to do with like sensors in these devices that you can then sell. So for example, imagine your fridge. If your fridge is connected to the internet, your fridge can contact um, Amazon yeah. and order something that's... And you know what's mad? Mm. Like they are smart houses out there smart homes yeah yeah, Where it's yeah. On, do you yeah, know what i mean yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah. You, yeah absolutely right. you, you're talking about yeah. smart homes iota i think that you know they're building um smart city for eu look at that mm. smart city yeah and they're also building smart city for taipei yeah these are things yeah. that people could go and research do you know what i'm saying so i'm looking mm. at this and i'm like do you understand the amount of, pe of people, of things this is going to be serving. Yeah. And naturally, right, if you're using a device that is using a cryptocurrency, your car is using a particular cryptocurrency, yeah. everything that you use is, you know, you yeah. will ev inevitably have to use the cryptocurrency. Fact. What's ha happening in transformation and mobility is comes in lots of different areas. One of the main areas is, that's coming up is in smart cities where you have vehicle to machine communication. So we're working with several um, car manufacturers and I think what the most exciting thing is happening there is vehicles that are 
going to be turned into um, a, an autonomous economic agent. And so the vision of this future is vehicles themselves are going to have a wallet on them that will have tokens, so IOTA tokens on them. And with this wallet on the car, you can do things like pay for parking automatically or go through a toll booth without ever having to slow down and will just automatically be deducted from the wallet on the car. But the other cool thing about that is the car could also be paid. So this is something that Jaguar Land Rover is doing and they have shown us with the wallet on their e-pace vehicles is if you say in your vehicle you have notice a sharp bump and that means you've run over a pothole. The e-pace vehicle has been structured so that with their wallet, it will automatically notify the city authorities that, hey, there's a pothole here, why don't you come fix it? And the car itself will earn a little bit of money for reporting things like that. This is what raised, the, this is for me, I was just like, hold on, this is massive. This makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. sense. And then, remember we talked, when we go back to last week, yeah, we talked about the um what is money right yeah. and we talked about money has to be a medium of exchange it has to be a unit of measure it has to be a store of value now if we go to cryptocurrency cryptocurrency has something called the blockchain trilemma right. which in a, in essence is the features the ultimate features of cryptocurrency which is um security scalability and fearless okay you know what i'm saying yeah. so okay um when you look at Bitcoin, which is the king of mm. all things, it's 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 uh it's secure, right? It's it's uh it's not fearless, right? And it's, it's only slow, it? yeah, and yeah. it's scalable to a certain point. And a lot of cryptocurrencies out there, they hit two of the of three the features. Three. Yep. The only one that is literally on the verge of the three three is IOTA. Three three, yeah. Can yeah. I just ask? Yeah. <laughs> um what year was it when the person that you knew yeah. worked at Microsoft? What year was it? when he introduced, introduced me to it. So yeah. it was 2017. Okay. And IOTA was out 2016, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Oh, yeah, so that's okay. kind of at the start. It was at the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was literally, infancy, it was, and obviously something went wrong. And yes. And that's why it dropped there. Yes, exactly. So no, so basically I would explain what happened. So when he came to me, what he said was, the reason why he actually came to me was he wasn't invested in IOTA, a friend of his that works in Microsoft invested in iota and that was the time that I, uh, microsoft started looking into iota, iota right. so what they did what there was a what article, they're trying to do is it's, it's insane right? yeah exactly <laughs> so there was an article that came out that said microsoft has partnered up with iota oh, right. but that wasn't actually factual it was they were just working with them right yeah so it pumped to from that. to seven dollars to six something, something, and then people realized that it was fake news. Mm -hmm. That's when it dropped, it tanked. Oh, yeah, right. but that doesn't take away from the, the validity yeah, of yeah, what yeah, IOTA what brings, is, yeah. right? So yeah. I was just like, nah, this is just a little, a minor error. You will face this whenever yeah. you're developing a business. Do you get what I'm saying? And it's no difference from, from this. That's why I was like, no, I still believe wholeheartedly in what they're doing. Do you get where I'm coming from? You know, so when we look at data as well, that's the economist. The economist says the the world's most valuable resource is data. It is, man. Do you understand? Really so is. they're basically saying data is the new oil. Yeah. I saw a, a video one time. Yeah. I would suggest for anybody out here that's watching this or listening to this podcast, please go and follow World Economic Forum. Right. The reason why I say that is because they put out a lot of information regarding um the new technologies, new businesses, mm. right, that are coming out and making the world, you know, a better place. They're, pro they're providing value, right? And um, I saw a video one time where they, they posted up something to do with like Bill Gates, where Bill Gates <laughs> or Microsoft, basically, they, they were trying to, they were looking into storing um, data um, silos or, or creating data storage yeah. on the water, bro. Wow. Okay. Okay. Think about how much data that yeah, is. Yeah, that's a lot still. Because I know that Amazon and all these people, they have warehouse. data, yeah, warehouses. Yeah, warehouses. Yeah. Do cloud, like AWS yeah. and but stuff. But now like they're trying to move it. Yeah, yeah, underwater. Because that's how much data yeah, that's is going to be transferred. Lot, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So now the thing is, okay, if you think about, okay, all these data needs to be moved, right? You need, so this is what I put here. I put zero fee microtransaction, yeah? It needs to be scalable. Mm. It needs to be decentralized 
with the um okay well no that's going to be iota but then it needs to be green as well right well that also has to do with iota but okay. when it comes down to data transfer there needs to be zero fee micro transactions right. right with bitcoin and majority of other um it's slow man not only slow, but each transaction, the fees. Dollars. Yeah, the fees. Like, I, think I think Ethereum's about $90 puts, dollars or something yeah. like that. Hmm? No, it just puts you off. Yeah. It puts you yeah. off, man. Do you know what I'm saying? Puts you so off. this is the thing. So, you know, I'm looking at Ayoa and I'm like, man, this is common sense. Mm. If you're going to, another thing as well is like um, uh, autonomous vehicle, right? Yeah. So this is another thing because what Ayoa is doing, right? They're, they're working on becoming the standard for the internet of things, mm. right? Now, I didn't know what standards were until I found out about Alicia's company. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So she works for a company called GS1, okay. right? And GS1, what I've written here, is a not-for-profit organization that develops and maintains global standards for business, for business communication, and they have been the standard for barcodes since 1974. Do you know what that means, bro? That means they're the only ones, bro. That's doing what they yeah, do. That provides yeah, yeah. barcodes. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Do you understand? And this is worldwide. Yes. This is worldwide. Worldwide. Yeah. Worldwide. I think the only thing um, might be books. When it comes to, I think that's the only thing that they don't provide barcodes with. But in almost every product that, you, like, that's a lot of data that they've got. Yeah, that's a lot. Of that's data. a lot. If you of, think about it, exactly. That's a lot. Do you know what I'm saying? So now good. IOTA is working on becoming the standard for the Internet of Things. So think about this. Remember the the number hundred billion devices, mm. Internet of yeah. Things devices by 2025, and they are the standard. <laughs> yeah, think, think about what that means. They, that means they will be the only one. Just like GS GS one. Just like GS one. <laughs> they will be the only one providing the currency for these internet of things to right. transfer data yeah. and all these for everything things. to be connected for everything to be connected yeah, yeah. yeah what's what crazy you... sorry go on yeah no no go ahead Siege. go ahead no, i was gonna say what's what's crazy for me to get my head around is that with all the cryptos that are coming out everyone that wants to create their own crypto <laughs> yeah iota is the only one that is operating well is the only one that i know of i could be wrong mm. i'm not an expert but yeah. they're the only one to me, that are operating in a way to be able to facilitate this, right? Like no one else. Exactly. Is so you, I mean, you've that. got yeah, like you said, you know, we're not professionals here, and yeah. I don't claim to know everything. I'm just providing the information that I have, right? And I listen. I'm open to be educated. I love, love, love Shout being us. educated. Yeah. Shout Please us. provide Let me with know. information. Please provide, please provide me with information. Shout out to our production team. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> always, always having everything on point for us. For real, for real, facts. You know, we appreciate you. Yeah, so imagine, imagine, right? I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking, rah, so they're going to be the standard for all of this. Mm. Like, that is massive. Nah, it is, man. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking nah, I need to buy more. I, yeah, I don't bro, even have every time, every time I look, no, nah, I don't have enough, bro. I, I, would, I would love to keep that. accumulating. Trust like, me. I've averaged in, I've averaged in at 25 cents. Mm. So, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's currently at 133. Yeah. And a lot of yeah, people... Done well who, there, man. Yeah, no, nah, I appreciate well, you, man. Yeah. But you see, done but look, well, check man. this out. And this is why, based on previous podcasts that we talk about, yeah, you will take L's in life. That's part of life. And once mm. again, trading teaches you this. It's like a fast, it's a crash course on this, right? Yeah, right. Because you're gonna take you're gonna take L's, right? But then at the same time, you're you're going to have your wins, yeah. right? And this is it just explains I took that L where I lost 50%, 700, right? Averaged in at, in IOTA at 25 cents. And now the gains is it's way more than yeah. the L's. But I think it's uh going back to one of our previous conversations about mm. having that emotional balance. Yeah. Because if you was emotionally riled up you would yeah. be like you know what you made Forget a this, rash man. decision yeah. I'm never I'm yeah. never gonna do this yeah. Yeah. like he said you made yeah. rash decisions but you knew what it was mm. and you said you know what nah it's cool I could take this yeah. I'm gonna come back in at a better yeah. a better time and you've made you've made your losses yeah back, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah you know, you know so saying? definitely what are you gonna say see? no I was gonna say 100% if that was me in 2017 and yeah. I lost 50%. <laughs> I'd say, turn the TV off. Don't turn talk to me about IOTA. I don't want to hear about IOTA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, for real. Facts. But then that you know what's facts. crazy? There are still a lot of people that actually have negative things to say about IOTA just because of that. 
Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But, but then this is like, this is too big to speak negatively about. Facts. Like internet of things. Yeah, like, but there'll be a lot of people that yeah, argue. Yeah, yeah. There'll there be will, a lot of people but that argue. What they're yeah. trying to do, even just as a concept, is mm. phenomenal. Like absolutely it's something to pay a lot yeah. of attention to. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you don't believe it or you think there's other people that yeah. could do it better or whatnot. Yeah. They are still, they still have a plan Fact. and they're still doing things. You just said that you could buy a percent, a fraction of a, of a property. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, and that's so, only one that's of the features. So imagine if like, you know, Canary Wolf, for example. Yes. If you could buy a fraction of, you know how good of an investment Bruh. that would be? Like, Bro. Like, <laughs> Bruh, this yeah, is, man. this is the thing. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And you know, like we spoke before, it's like, if you see an asset that goes up in, in, in value rapid, like not even rapidly, that like, goes up um, a lot in value, mm. right? It's not about you owning a million percent. No, you don't yeah, have to. Yeah. It's about you actually improving. It's yeah, about yeah, you yeah. saying you've invested in this, even if it's a hundred pounds. Yeah. If you've invested a hundred pounds and you get 10% gain, yeah. understand that 10% gain in a hundred pounds is the same as 10% gain in 10 million pounds. Yeah, Do you know what I'm saying? So a gain is a gain. Rather than measuring it in the profits, measure it in the percentage yeah, gain man. that you're getting yeah. because when you actually get the funds to be able to scale up to a lot of it you've got the pattern already you already got the pattern you know what yeah, i mean yeah, so that's literally what it is but what i also realized with this with iota is when you look at um one of the things that i wanted to tell people is before before i even go to that part yeah mm. let's link this back now everything that we just learned about iota back to the Bretton woods moment right um to the Bretton woods yeah and remember I spoke about how the IMF basically announced that there's a new Bretton Woods moment, right? From 1944 was yeah. the first Bretton Woods moment, was the first Bretton Woods, and now it's the new Bretton Woods moment, right. yeah? The episode before this, if you haven't watched it out, go back and This is practically yeah. a continuation from that one yeah. anyway. So a lot of people ask, what is the IMF, yeah? And according to Investopedia, the IMF was originally created in 1945 as part of the Bretton Woods Agreement which attempted to encourage international financial cooperation by introducing a system of convertible currencies at a fixed exchange rate, right? So now, why does that tie into, why does IOTA tie into this new Bretton Woods moment? So imagine if IOTA is acting as a form of exchange for the internet of things for 100, 100 billion devices, right? right? Like I said, it's almost inevitable that it would also act as an exchange for human beings as well yeah at the same time right so what that then means is well in my opinion if i was the imf i would be looking i would be looking at iota as the link where every cryptocurrency this is, or this central is bank they'll make itself more relevant exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. would be tied to that and yeah. iota will be the fixed exchange so we talked about colorized um tokens yeah. where you can tie up your physical digital assets but they also have a thing where i believe you can tie your central bank digital currencies what <laughs> to <laughs> I <laughs> what <laughs> to iota as well wow. so now when you go back to the first Bretton woods moment you had gold right yeah dollars the do us dollar was backed by gold and then everything was pegged to the ah, us dollar so saying, imagine yeah. now Right, IOTA is going to be the standard, basically, yeah. precisely. Where yeah. every that's what that's that's what, the link between what we have now yes. going into that have. space. Yes, like, mad thing. You hear that, people? <laughs> but this, I'm not saying this is guaranteed. But, but I'm it's, saying it's, it's, this it's is a possibility. my analysis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a possibility. This is a possibility. Yeah, man. Right, and if I was the IMF, I would look into that. Do you know what I'm saying? So now going back to what was said. So there's a four minute video. If you type it in on YouTube, right? The director of the IMF, Chris, uh, Christina, I think it's Kristalina Georgieva, right? These were the quotes that I took away from that video. Yeah, it's not got a lot of likes <laughs> because <laughs> yeah, a lot of not, people, yeah. yeah, a lot of people don't like to move forward. No, do you know what I mean? Man. But this is what she said. She goes, We can do better than build back the pre-pandemic world. What yeah. does that mean, guys? That means the world that we knew done out here. Forget about it. The future. Sayonara. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So Deuces. they're looking to build forward, yeah. right? So now I believe it's um, the world, uh, um, the World Economic Forum. If you go on their website, I'll show you a very good thing that people need to look at. Yeah, and I think I showed this to CJ. Yeah. Look at this, bro. This is an interactive, an interactive map. Okay. Right here. 
nice. of where they're looking to go. Internet so this is the internet of things. And basically this whole thing, I think when you go to the initial start of it, before you start clicking into different links, it starts with something called, I see where you made that connection. With what, with what I to, <laughs> I can see it clearly, oh, no, no. bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now they, this whole thing is initially, when you start off, it starts with the Great Reset. Right. <laughs> right? So that means right. it wipes everything starting. From. Everything is starting again. Yeah. But more so, we've had three industrial revolutions. Yeah. We're currently at the fourth. The fourth industrial revolution. You could go on YouTube, yeah. on the World Economic Forum's YouTube page, and watch what they say about yeah. the fourth industrial revolution. It's not a conspiracy, people. And everything's literally, it's not conspiracy. It's so happening. everything is literally tied in to this map right here, right? And you can see the future that is being built. So you're talking about artificial intelligence. Yeah. You're talking about autonomous vehicles. You're talking about um, Internet of Things. You're talking about cybersecurity. Damn, you're this- just calling out my portfolio. Man. <laughs> <laughs> this is just <laughs> listing them all out. Man. <laughs> Listen my portfolio. Even in the secret. Do you, do you, do you, do you, do you know what I mean? So now when, when you look at that, let's, let's, okay, now let's talk about AI, right? Okay. IOTA in Japan, I think is Japan's biggest energy plant. Mm. They've employed, they've <laughs> used IOTA to manage the whole energy plant. Imagine that. Imagine that. This is the Japanese Wait, government. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. It's, it's at a dollar what? <laughs> it's at a dollar for what? 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 A dollar 33, bro. What? Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm saying. What? So what people ain't even missed the boat yet. They have, in the my boat, opinion, the boat I'm still, is still there. I'm no, still accumulating. The it's just, it's I'm just, still it's accumulating. Just waiting for this is it. Passengers. For everybody to basically catch up to that. Now we talked about NFTs. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, go on. No, no, go on, go on. I was going to say, we talked about NFTs at mm. the start, but did you know that NFTs could be, you can basically build NFT, apply NFTs into IOTA. So where you could basically make NFTs more valuable. Okay, how would you do that? I'm not a tech, but there's there is a guy, mm-hmm. there is a guy from a decentralized social media um platform called Society Two. Society right? Two. His Shout name's Ben. Two. We can bring him on to yeah. educate Let's us that. on the tech. Let's so if that. you guys want to see that, yeah, man, please leave your comments below. Let us know. Let do you us get know. me? Because obviously the, the IOTA community needs to know that the culture is asking for this. Why well, you mean what? Bring him on the pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, 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 he's more than willing. He's more than willing to come on, and yeah. you know. But if people demand it, then yeah. I'm sure they will be like, "Yeah, of course." Because um, um, IOTA has a thing called uh, IOTA Evangelist Network, and I think what they do is basically reach out to try and educate people oh, okay, and okay. Let, right. familiarize themselves with. What's yeah, and if you got on. questions as well, right? That would be exactly. Good that would be a massive somebody that's you know right. technically savvy and in there like that yeah. to where we could get get you the feedback exactly. that you need and. Exactly, bro. Yeah. So, so yeah, man. So then moving on from that previous quote, she then goes on to say, we can build forward a world that is more sustainable, more resilient and inclusive. Right? Yeah. So now, you when you talk about sustainable, like, I'm, to me, that sounds like a green, you yeah. know, more green. Yeah, definitely. And when you look at the amount of energy consum- consumption that these um, Bitcoin miners. Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. I know Bill Gates is always talking about that. That the the energy that they use is crazy. But IOTA has no no miners. Imagine that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's green. Yeah. You know. So anyway, and then she then goes on to say, we must seize this new Bretton Woods moment. Okay. So to me, all that is saying is we need to have a new currency that can help with this, yeah. alongside all the other things that she mentions as well. But. For me, I'm looking at all of this and I'm just like, it only makes sense because IOTA is the one currency that serves all of this. Do you know what I'm saying? So anyway, so I've already, yeah, I brought up the World Economic Forum. What I now wanted to bring up is, look at these, bruv. Mm. These are the amount of companies right now That's a lot, still. that are building on IOTA. These are the household names that I'm looking bruv, at. Bruv, you've got Bosch. Even cars. Yeah. You've got Philips. Uh, which one did you mention? I said even cars. Yeah, yeah cars. cars. You know, you've got Audi BMW, Audi. Mm. Mm. And Even, the thing is, since this image was created, there's, there's so been a lot more. more right. yeah. There's been a lot more. People are well. sleeping on IO. Bro, listen, People are sleeping you see, on IO. Jaguar, Jaguar Land Rover as well has also um, partnered up with IOTA and they've created something called IOTA Access. Right. So I, I, once again, I'm not too familiar with this, but 
it's a thing where basically you can give somebody access. So let's say you're here, you can grant someone access in another country, access to your car, yeah. Yeah. access wow. to your house. Imagine Even that. companies can do that. So let's say they have contractors come in, they can just give them access from wherever they are. So and they car. Do you understand what I'm saying? IOTA Access is a lightweight access control framework. It helps you securely control your smart devices. Every interaction between digital entities, whether it's machine to machine or human to machine, has a registry in the IOTA Tangle Ledger. Whether it's to grant an employee access to a secure building or to grant your kids access to the car, it's all stored securely and immutably on the Tangle. With IOTA Access, encoded rules turn into a digital policy, which will be forever registered in the distributed ledger, creating many new pay-for-use business opportunities backed by hardware enforcement. So you can do things like this, or this, and even this. Unlock new possibilities with IOTA Access. Man. So these are the different things that they've got, you know. Um, Universities as yeah, well, like. exactly. So Jago, you know, and I think as well, there's, bro, there's so many things. I don't want to speak too much on it, but all I'm going to say is there's a YouTube channel called, um, oh, my days has failed me. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a YouTube channel called, um, Biotis. L-O-I-O-T-A. Okay. L-O-I-O-T-A. It's literally that. Hello, hello. 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 Yeah. And it's literally, for me, that was the school for me, right? Yeah. They release a video every day, super, super, um, not every day, one. every week. about the quick takes. Yeah, the quick takes yeah. and even more as well. So, and they release everything that's going on in the IOTA world. Is that yeah. Porsche there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man. Porsche, Everyone. Volkswagen. Look at that. Yeah, man. Do there's you know a the lot, craziest a lot of video? Company. Craziest yeah. video that Charlton showed me was the car insurance one. Right, yeah. That's Break that mad, down. but it's really simple. It's mm. actually a simple concept. Um, and it's so relevant. Yeah. Uh, basically, what happens is, mm -hmm. is the car automatically pays for your car insurance as you're driving. So it will, <laughs> it will change. <laughs> yeah, but the clever thing about it is it will switch from one car insurance to another car insurance as you're driving. Right, you're driving. Yeah. As, oh you're, as your speed increases. Yeah. Whichever So you're car driving insurance, reckless, you'll, you'll probably be yeah. this one that can say, okay, he's about to crash or something. Exactly, so they charge you more. Yeah, yeah but... but right. yeah. yeah, but they'll choose the cheapest car insurance okay. that will insure you at that speed. Okay. You know what I mean? So yeah. you're always <laughs> getting the best time. I need that now. Like, yeah, no, it's crazy. That, it's it's insane. Now, shout, out, shout out to um, Terry Shane oh, from, yeah. Bi from Biosphere. So we're going to just start that simulation over here in high mobility. And just like uh, Kevin did before, we're going to split screen this so that you can see high mobility running on the bottom. Uh, it show my car running separately at the top. And uh, the car is parked. It's on standby insurance, and in just a few moments, the vehicle will come out of park. And when it comes out of park, standby insurance will no longer be the cheapest option, and the car will automatically select a more efficient option. And as it comes out of standby or into drive, you'll see now uh, tortoise insurance was selected. The cost per minute has risen for this reporting period, and the high mobility vehicle, as well as the Insure My Car location, are now both updating in real time, showing the new location. Now, as the vehicle goes above 30 kilometers an hour, as it passes the White House, special conditions kick in, and we're paying additional fees. The rates go up, even though the car, if you look at the speed, has now temporarily dropped. And the vehicle will now continue going. It's doing 55 kilometers an hour. Sorry, it's doing 54, 58. And in just a few moments, it is going to uh, get onto the bridge, cross on uh, the highway across the Potomac River. And as it does that, our virtual driver will accelerate hard. And you'll see this in just a moment. And at the point that they start speeding like this, and the speed goes above 100 kilometers an hour, will happen very, very shortly. You will see a new condition kicks in, and we go from tortoise to rocket insurance at ludicrous speed. 
we fly across the bridge at about 150 odd kilometers an hour before slowing down. And at the end of each reporting period, all of the telemetry data, all of the insurance data is written in an encrypted and secure fashion, recorded on the tangle and um, the car carries on with its business. And the driver, whoever they happen to be, doesn't really need to worry about are they getting the best deal because they're always getting the best deal. The insurance companies get data that today they probably couldn't have access to and we can add other uh, information that we get from the car and from the driver and from the environment that allow us then to modify the insurance so that everybody is getting the best deal. And we can abstract this not just to personal cars but to uh, fleet vehicles, to trucks, to all kinds of other scenarios outside and beyond. Who, 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 uh, whose idea was that? Who's, uh... So yeah, so it's a guy yeah, called Terry Shane and it's com I think the company is called um, Biotosphere and they're developing a ton. There's, they're even, the, as a matter of fact, the biggest one, the, ca the car insurance one is amazing, but he also did a presentation where he actually talks about um, uh, uh, re resolving the whole plastic um, uh, littering issue yeah. in like the sea and things like that and right. he's got a way where it's like with Iota like it's, it's done it's, yeah we're, we're good yeah so okay alright cool even uh, another thing even going down to like seed yeah. there's a thing with Iota where it stops um, fake products imagine that <laughs> from coming man. because you can track the product right. from it's yeah. uh, from its inception uh, okay do you know what I mean so yeah. if you for example you have a brand mm -hmm. right and it's known you can the, one of the biggest issues i can't remember what the number is but it's a lot of a lot of money counterfeit goods oh, yeah, there's, yeah, a, lot yeah, of, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of money so with mm. iota being applied to your thing because yeah. you'll be able to track it from where from when it's been created right right they can verify that you, your product is the original product yeah you can see the timeline you can see the timeline supply chains are the arteries of the world economy but hampered by a lack of real-time data shared between supply chain parties and the paper-based processes used to manage them, they're not flowing well. Inefficiencies such as customs delays cost around $4 trillion a year, while fake goods account for 3% of trade. In our always-on economy, there must be a better way to ensure provenance and speed the flow of goods. Introducing IOTA Tangle, the first open source distributed ledger that while similar to blockchain is more scalable and efficient. IOTA works in tandem with Zebra Savannah's cloud data platform. Through Zebra Savannah, an app can send a scan or RFID event directly to the IOTA Tangle by a single API call where it's securely held and tamper proof. Capturing the data requires minimal or no changes to existing processes and it provides all supply chain agents with a real-time, immutable view of progress. Take a new tyre. An RFID tag is attached to it and recorded to certify its batch, origin and quality. In the warehouse, the RFID tag is recorded to confirm custody, while new data is added including location and warehouse ID. The delivery driver scans the code to confirm transfer of custody, while GPS data can be used to track progress. At Customs, the RFID tag is scanned to access certificates and quickly clear the tyre for import. At the garage, it's registered using a fixed RFID reader. And when fitted, a further scan updates the car's log with the make, date and tyre specs. The customer also reads the code to confirm she has a certified tyre that will keep her family safe. From protecting consumers and fighting counterfeit products to enabling just-in-time logistics, faster product recalls and compliance, IOTA and Zebra Savannah is the all-new way to accelerate your supply chain. Cold. So imagine buying a pair of Jordans yeah. that has the time. You can verify now that, you know what, this is original. Because I've seen documentaries where these guys doing fake products, bro, they yeah, can make amazing. it. Listen, they yeah. do oh, it yeah, proper. No, a lot yeah. of them make it in the same warehouse as well. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
They do. They do the it proper, material, man. Just yeah. Verified. Yeah. They, exactly. Yeah. So imagine with Iota, you can you can sort you can sort that problem out. And Bro. this is just one of many. One of many. And the amount of things that could be built on Iota. That's crazy. Are Bro, I mean, you put me on Iota, yeah. Yeah. But I didn't know this, bro. Really? I need to I need to re up. <laughs> and I'm no 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 no. Listen, I need to re up, listen, bro. By the way, this guys, like, this is not, you and know, this is not much? this is not financial advice. Mm-hmm. No, this all. is just giving out information on what we know. So. <laughs> <He's> like, <yeah. laughs> I'm about, to, like, I'm about to end all of this right now, bro. He needs to go home. So, I need to go home. So yeah, man, like literally, what? and I think, yeah, just to end it there, because I didn't want to make it quite long, mm. but that's basically everything, you know, that um, that I have on IO. I probably have way more. I got a question. I got um, a question for yeah. you. Obviously, these are powerful, powerful things that you've said. Yeah. In terms of just moving forward, it seems like this is something that is a staple in right. a new system mm-hmm. that we're going into, yeah. right? Why do you think it's been slept on for this long? You said it's been, it was created probably about 2016, 2017. Yeah. yeah. Bro, we're in 2021 and it's only a dollar 30 something cents. Yeah. Okay, like, so yeah, you know, sorry, yeah, yeah. Go on. yeah. yeah. Right. So basically what I was gonna say is that when you think about cryptocurrency in general, mm. right? Cryptocurrency already has a bad um uh I think reputation among the average general public, right? So imagine that alone is a no no, right? And then out of the whole crypto um community because of what happened with microsoft as well as some other issues that they had because i, f- I believe they got hacked into like last year january okay, february but okay. everybody got reimbursed yeah Do you know what i'm saying but in the crypto space that already has a bad public image right, right you have a yota which also has a, ba- a bad rep because of what 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 happened right. you know but like i always say to people you're not going to build the perfect company no, man, from from ground up right and what i usually tell people is if you look at amazon right amazon took when they started i think they hit a high of 130 something dollars mm-hmm. after that this was, i think this was in 1999 yeah and then they tanked with the with the um with the tech bubble that happened the um, com thing the com bubble yeah, yeah. yeah so it went down and it stayed below its all time high for about 10 years imagine that it's like right? 3k now Ex- thank you <laughs> so it stayed below that for about 10 years and only until 2009 did it then break its all time high of a hundred and something dollars. Yeah. yeah? Mm. Um, I will try and put some visual representation here just to show because I'm not sure the exact figures, but I do know for a fact that it was below its um, all time high yeah. for about 10 years. And right. then once it broke that all time high, there's no stopping it. Now right. it's about 3K, yeah, 4K. It's about 3K. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's one of its kind. It's this one is, of a kind. This is the thing. You know so I mean? whenever you talk about, and this is why once again, remember when I was asking, how long does it take to build a successful business? And I said, for me personally, I believe it takes about eight to 10 years. And why? That's because if you want to build a skyscraper, it takes longer to build a foundation. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, the, yeah. that's the key, yeah. right? And after the foundation is built, then, then go it, it goes up easy. Mm. Do you understand? It's the same thing with building a business right. or we can even apply it. We can use nature, right? If you look at the bam, the bamboo tree or the bamboo, it's, it takes, I think somewhere about, what is it like? It takes about five years mm. to actually see it come out of the ground. Right. It's five years of nurturing to actually see it come out of the ground. But then once it comes out of the ground, it. it takes about six months yeah. or whatever to, to get to I think they even use that like foot. scaffoldings and stuff like exactly that in some places. you know what I'm saying but think about it you've been doing all this groundwork you haven't seen the fruits of your labour for a good five years right. you haven't seen you. some people are like what this thing hasn't grown out of the floor yet mm. forget this do you get me before you start seeing growth and I believe it's the same thing with Iowa because what they're embarking on is a huge task is a huge really? is a huge right. feat right. so you can't expect them to just give you some a half-hearted stuff. yeah you can't expect them they, you know for me the way I see it is I see it as the infra- the backbone for the infrastructure of the fourth industrial revolution that's right. how I see it do right. you know where I'm coming from so you can't just expect them to just give you some half-hearted product they have to obviously take their time in developing the foundation right so that when they actually start you know building more Makes it's sense. it's yeah it's yeah. secure it's stable right do you know what i mean and i i think that's basically the reason why it's taking so long it's for like, iota to start to come on. out yeah mm. but i believe when which is good though because like now you've you've showed a lot of people this opportunity yeah yeah as well as us 
and we can be at the forefront of it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Even yeah. if it's like, you know, dollar costing in mm-hmm. buying a hundred hair, yeah. a hundred yeah. hair, hundred Once hair. again, no Before, financial advice. No financial <laughs> advice. <laughs> we're we're just, just having, claim that. Yeah, it's just please. A, a yeah. conversation. Do your due yeah, diligence, you know look I mean? into it. Because I remember one time, um, I posted some profits, yeah. And um, some some someone asked me, ah, what crypto is that? And then I told them and I was like, Make sure you do your research. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and no they problem. were like, so "You told me to go and do this." Or yeah, they're like, "Huh?" But right. you, no, no, yeah. no. You have to do you your research. Yeah, different. And I think you said that as well when you covered trading um, yeah. stocks. Yeah, you said as well yeah. that listen, you know, I, fair enough. I might get advice from here and there, but yeah, I also but, do yeah. my research. Yeah, what, what works for and you? I apply works what for works you. for you. There's yeah. some people who, like through their research, they might not believe in this. They might believe yeah. in something else because that's what works for them. Yeah. And kudos to you, but nah, man, this is. This Can is I ask special, something man. though? On yeah. that, a question that I have, do you think that from your trading experience and how you trade and how you invest, do you think that people are investing in crypto in the same way or with the same mentality and the same mindset as they are when they're investing in stocks? Because from my limited understanding, um, with stocks, you're looking into the company, yeah. you're looking mm-hmm. who's behind it, like... You were saying yeah. in a previous episode with crypto, are people really looking into it that much um, when they're investing? And do they really care, or are they just trying to jump on the next thing that they've heard someone yeah. else yeah. talk about? And reputation, obviously, in business or in anything, is everything. Yeah. So, um, like, I've got a friend who's made a lot of money out of crypto, a yeah. lot of money, mm. um, and I consider him very like knowledgeable. Um, in terms of certain cryptos. And when I spoke to him about IOTA, when Cholton first introduced me to IOTA, he said, uh, I haven't looked into it much, but I'm not prepared to because I've only heard negative things. Yeah. So I'm going to choose to stay away from it. But when I asked him more questions, there was no real substance to his reason to wanting to stay away from it other yeah. than what this he's heard. What people are saying. So yeah. do you really think that people are looking into cryptos the same way they look into stocks and shares and is that the reason why certain cryptos are getting slept on because it's not you know iota is amazing i've, I've looked into it what they're trying to do is amazing mm. and what they're working towards is amazing but i'm sure there's other cryptos that are working towards something good as well but you yeah. only ever hear about bitcoin and ether really yeah so like do you think that's the um real, for the me, reason for me mm. I, I would say that I think there's two type of traders in the crypto space right now. The ones that go off the hype and the ones that actually know what they're doing. Mm. So the ones that go off the hype, it's just like, okay, what's, 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 what's hot? Yeah. What, what, what's, what's, what's being, you know, spoke about, what's the play? They jump into it. Yeah, they can make some money, but majority of them will lose money because you have people that know what they're doing. Right, exactly. That would play on their emotions. Absolutely. Get them to jump into a coin you know, that is being spoken about. So what's the ratio between the two then? I would say, <laughs> I would say, yeah, I that's, would, that's a key. Yeah, yeah. That's I would, I would say probably about 70, 30. I would say there's which way 30% right. know exactly what they're doing. These are people that have been in there for a long time because mm. what I was going to say is that those type of people do some things with in, in the crypto space that are insane. I've got a friend like that. Mm. He tells me some of the um, things that you could do with coins and tokens, and I'm like, Bro, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the options that you have, like you're literally, you could create your own way of making money. Mm. Like there's yeah. so many, so many so ways, many so many avenues. things. Yeah. With 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 stocks, there's there's different ways you could read a chart and you could get information from a chart, but there's really you're either trying to short a company or you're trying to hold for long term. Or you're trying to, you know, put like a like like a um, a call to say it's going to reach a certain amount in yeah. a certain space of time. So let's just say, for example, you you pick a company and you say, okay, in three months' time, you think that company is going to go from forty dollars to fifty dollars. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? And based on that time and what you've said, you'll make money. Mm. And just in the reverse way, you could say, okay, I think this company is going to drop down. Yeah. Based on that, you make some money. But with in the crypto space, if you know what you're doing. Bro, it's crazy. What he was telling me, I was, blo- I, I didn't know what to say. Like, he was like, yeah, I could stake my coin and then if I stake it and then take this and then put it here and do this, do that. I was like, bro, you've lost me. <laughs> like, you've lost yeah, me. Just, yeah, just, yeah. just 
rewind yeah. all of that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, that's absolutely. I, I 100% yeah. agree with that. And just to add on to that, to answer your question, CJ, I, I bet personally think it depends on the question that you're asking, right? Mm. And when I say you, I mean the, the trader, the investor. It mm. depends on what question that they're asking, right? For me, what I'm asking is what would be the next world reserve currency? Big. Yeah, facts. Right? So that's my question. Whereas somebody else might come into the crypto community and be like, well, what is the next one that's going to go up 100% tomorrow? They're trying to yeah. make money, yeah, quick. Do you understand what like I'm saying? Almost, almost day trading. Right, yeah. exactly. Space, you know so, or you've got somebody else who's like, okay, well, I want to get to a certain point. So it, de it depends on the individual. It depends on what questions that you're asking. And there's a bit of everything for, there's a bit of something for everyone, right? I'll give you an example. Before the subprime mortgage um, crisis, yeah? Robert Kiyosaki has been warning and been telling people, listen, your house is not an asset. Your house is not an asset. It's the bank's asset, mm. but it's not your asset, yeah. right? And um, people are like, you're crazy. Properties are going up every day, mm. right? So what were people doing? They were like, listen, I want to buy and I want to flip. I want to sell this. Do you know what I'm saying? So there were a lot of people that were making money buying and selling, buying and selling. Mm. Whereas with him, he's looking at, okay, well, I want to buy and I want to rent. I want the cash flow, the monthly cash flow. So he's investing in a different way. Whereas those people who were looking to flip and make a quick buck, they were asking, they were making money as well. So it all depends on what no, you're what asking. Well, How would, would it last longer though? Hmm? What money lasts longer? I personally would say cash flow. Yeah. Yeah, I would man. say cash flow because cash flow, yeah, cash flow. when you when you have cash flow, it's it's a lifetime thing. Yeah. You just sell that one, once the money's gone, the money's it's, gone. It's gone. done. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's done. You cash know? flow could be passed on. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. could be passed on. One hundred percent legacy. I, I would also you know? add on to say that with the stimulus and with what you said er earlier on about mm -hmm. how a lot of people are going to pump their money into crypto, yeah. those people that are pumping their money in, I wouldn't say. Just this is me looking from the outside in. Yeah. I don't know them, obviously. They may be professionals. They may know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But I would say majority of them are not really savvy right. in the crypto space. Yeah. Yeah. But they're going to sell, okay, I want to put my money in what's hot. Bitcoin, yeah. Yeah. whether it's, you know, Dogecoin yeah. or anything that they're hearing people talk about. NFTs, okay, yeah. let me, let me. Yeah. And if 50% if is successful, and that means another fifty percent are going to want to do the same thing, right? Yeah. Not knowing that fifty percent have lost a lot of money. Exactly, as well. exactly. You know? So I, I would, I would say, it's like Charlton said, depending on your strategy. But for now, I think a lot more people don't know what's happening. Really. Yeah, yeah. And they just go of off of hype. Yeah, and you know? just to, just to add on to that, it's like when you there's a video with um, Warren Buffett and Jay Z, mm. and even and where they were basically saying the same thing with what Robert Kiyosaki was saying in the video that I think we sent in the group chat with. Yeah. <laughs> is it gone? Uh-uh. What's this ring? Is it gone, yeah? Yeah, just, just uh, pillow, yeah. yeah, so basically what I was going to say is there's a video on YouTube where Jay-Z and Warren Buffett were talking about the shiny, sh the shiny thing. Mm. The new shiny thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's what people tend to do because, you know, and it takes a lot of emotional control to be like, listen, I, I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a step back mm -hmm. rather than Going with the crowd and mm. investing in this shiny thing yeah. where it's trendy. Mm. Do you understand? What is here to stay? What is exactly. here to last long? Do you know what I'm saying? And once again, it's the 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 ratio of the people asking the right the question where it's, you know, what's here to stay for a long time compared to the ratio of the people asking for, you know, what's the new shiny thing is very, you know, is, is I would say 10% of people are asking for what's here to stay. Yeah. And I've, I would say the remaining 90% are asking right, for, the, for the new shiny thing. Right. Right. That's you know, fuck. Yeah. So yeah. I think you can benefit from both ways. You know, you can know that, listen, if I'm about to go into this thing, I'm just going to go for short term into the new shiny thing catch the trend, make a few profit and then invest for the long term. Right. So there's many ways you can attack the market. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? It just depends on you. It depends on your risk appetite. It depends on your knowledge, you know, and just do your research, man. Yeah. Everything comes down to research. Everything comes down to being educated. And this is why for me, I'm very, very open-minded in finding out, you know, new knowledge and yeah. finding out just about new things in general and using that, taking what I know would help me and assist me in what I really want and then utilizing that in whatever objectives I have in life, you know? So I think it literally depends on you. you let, know? Me, let me add on to that one as well, real quick, yeah? I feel mm. like um, 
with with our society a lot of how we op- operate is like herd mentality mentality yeah, 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 yeah. you see yeah. even in the podcast yeah. um space where like the relationship theme is now like something that yeah. everyone, everyone wants is to talk about yeah, yeah, because yeah. they know yeah. that that's, that's what's what hot you, yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. what they well, that's what they go to is mm-hmm. now so i think that's what you see as well with crypto everyone's hearing about it so yeah. it's like herd but like you like you like you always point out it's not about that it's about looking uh at the, the the situation from a different angle from your own perspective yes. having your own identity on your why do you know what i'm saying yeah. why are you actually doing this so um I, I just, yeah it's yeah, a great point that still. L- like i know someone who's like very close to me he's got um i think he's bitcoin has just like gone up to like 80 grand so we're talking about quite a lot of money he holds yeah. in yeah. bitcoin never heard of iota yeah never even <laughs> heard of it you know yeah. what I mean, and this he is was someone fortunate. who's he believed in Bitcoin and bought it. Yeah, early. exactly. No, he's he, made money. No, no, like you, you said, heard heard mentality. mentality. Okay, yeah. everyone was getting into Bitcoin. He earns pretty decent living. Right. He had ten grand that he put into it at the time, and that ten grand dropped to like two at one point. I think it was. Yeah. Uh, I think it was like around 2016, if I'm not, or 2017 or something. And he left it in because he thought, well, I've lost that eight grand i'll leave yeah, it see what happens yeah. only and it's just gone up out. Yeah, you know yeah. so yeah. it's like gone gone up but he's not looked at any other coins mm. not interested in any other coins he just thought he'd yeah. try it out he's yeah. made but, but you see and this is the thing because this is what i'm saying it's like during the sub brand mortgage crisis a lot of people got into properties just to get into properties because of, oh it's going up do you understand and then what happened those who got in late were left holding the bag holding and the that's bag. what property and that's what is hard to get yeah. out of exactly it's not like trading. it's not very yeah, hard it's not to get you could yeah. just it's not liquid like trading you go down a certain amount you're like i'm out of there yeah Boom. exactly <laughs> you yeah. can't do that with property. properties you gotta you hold you yeah. gotta hold exactly. that but when you know when you're investing in property or when you're researching property mm. People do say, you know, property is really good because if the value goes up, your equity is there and you can take that equity. <laughs> yeah. yeah, trust me. You CJ try and take knows. it out. It's you try knows. and take it's it out. It's not, it's not even easy to take you it out. You try and take that out. Yeah. And you see how exactly. easy it is but, to yeah. liquidate. Yeah, like but, that. Fi- but think about it's it not, now it? with what we talked about with IOTA, where it's like you can now uh, digitize your property. Think yeah. about that. You can now sell on your shares. That's Facts. <laughs> Facts. In it it gives that, that li- yeah, it gives that li- 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 yeah, liquidity. Fine. You know, wow. yeah, but so also it mm. allows you. You could potentially earn a rental income from owning a small percentage yeah. of a property that you wouldn't have been able to own. So you can Facts. get on a property yeah. ladder, get a, a bl- passive income. Yeah, yeah. owning what 20 percent of a house or 15 percent of a house yeah, man right. it's, it's exactly. actually crazy yeah man. exactly so I yeah man. i love that idea, it's, you know so this I is the thing it, man. man and this is why i'm like <laughs> gonna go home and research i'm like, gonna start buying property <laughs> on I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you yeah, yeah. like obviously the the market's been a bit red or whatever like yeah. that but i'm 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 looking all right yeah. i'm looking good i like That's where good, i'm sitting man. yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm down a bit <laughs> i'm down i'm down yeah. like seven percent yeah so i'm all right do you know what i'm saying like i know that it's gonna pick up but as soon as I listen, <laughs> as soon as I get to my number, I'm pulling that out and so, I'm slapping it in your your There's a lot of people, man. A lot, yeah, yeah. yeah, to be honest with you, whenever I educate, when I say educate, whenever I give people the information that I have on IOTA, they they all do the same thing. And so far, a lot of people that I've been I've gotten in, yeah, are happy, man. I'm I'm getting people messaging me like, yo, thank you so much. Yeah. Like I'm 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 up this amount. And I'm yeah. like, wow. And and that's you know that's that's the thing as well. Like in, in the crypto space, what you make in a year in in the trading in stocks, you can make that in a day in yeah. the crypto space, in Facts. a week. Facts. Yeah. Like Facts. in in, st- in stocks, like portfolios that could give you a return of like 10 percent a year seen as like wow yeah. that's super good 20 yeah. percent, 40 yeah. percent you're like oh my god i mean the s p 500 moves what three percent three percent do you understand yeah. that if you put in if you put your money in crypto you could get that literally in a week yeah but at the do same you know time at yeah, the same no, time, no, it's obviously yeah. uh, important to mention that you could lose that. You could lose it. Again, this we're yeah, just yeah. having a conversation here. Like, this is not yeah. financial advice. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. <laughs> and that was what. So, to finish off what I was going to say about your friend that got in and it went down to 2K, for me, that's like, did you know what your stop loss was? Do you know what I'm saying? And this is comes down to getting the right education because for me, I was ready to lose the 50%. Right. And this is why you see with every disclaimer on investing, it's like 
only be prepared to invest money that well, you can yeah. afford to lose. Yeah. Yeah. Like, don't just go in and think, because I know a lot of people, man, they put in like their life savings and they're getting wrecked. Yeah. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? And then it's like, the gambling. fall into depression. Yeah, fall into depression on a whole ton of things. So I don't yeah. advise that. This is why I, I advise you, do your due diligence, right? Because for me, I have a price projection of where I believe IO is going to go to based on the market shares. I mean, the you know, the market sh capitalization of where it's going to be based on the different industries that I believe it will go into. And I have a certain percentage of what I believe IOTA would be involved in in those industries oh right? i've seen it and then i mad. average you understand so <laughs> it's i have crazy. so i have my future projection do you know what i'm saying and i know what my risk appetite is i know yeah. what i'm willing to risk right whereas a lot of people they just go in okay well it's gone down i've lost 80 percent. i'm gonna pull out it's yeah. like do you know what you're doing yeah, that's not the way to do you know what i mean so definitely this is what i'm saying once again get your dude like do your research get educated and it's not hard like when i say education i don't mean it's going to take you 10 years <laughs> to no, get educated it's yeah. not, of course it's just basic find out what you yeah, need to find, find out, out yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and one thing that i really like about the crypto space is that you can reach out and ask questions people will get back to you you could go yeah. to telegram and join their groups there's communities there's the communities and there's admins who are like evangelists like right. you mentioned earlier yeah. on who if you ask them a question they'll get back to you and you would you would receive an answer like they'll I mean, let even you know on even on, Even on Twitter, yeah. accessible. you can just reachable. hashtag your crypto, write and anything, yeah. and you're going to get yeah. Yeah. inundated. You know, and you don't see that in any or... other space. No, nah, absolutely not. Not like that anyway. No, you don't. And you know, you know what? Because I just... You've spoken I to just... some CEOs of... of, of yeah, bro. See, that's what yeah, I'm saying. This like. is the thing. For me, because it's like I had an idea, right? And um, the CEO, the well, the founder of um, IOTA basically reached out in one group and he just said, listen, this idea is a great idea and it's a hundred times possible with IOTA. What? When do you find CEOs nah, or founders man. that come and communicate? Let me let me like let me shout Bill Gates. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me hit you Bill know, Gates up. So this is the thing, man. So I really believe in. For me, you know, one of the things that I believe in the most, you know, and we'll probably you know end it up on this. But you guys can, if you have more questions, no, we can we can always build on that. But one of the major things for me is what I I try and tell people is, listen, man, don't be. A recluse in what you know like mm. in a sense where don't just segregate yourself from every of every other thing in life do you understand if you know music dig in a little bit to, to tech to the tech world finding right. what's going on to that going on with that because there's always a way you can merge the two the way mm. we're seeing with nfts if you love art if you love fashion find a way where you can link that up with because you with, can because you there's can a way. do you understand and this is the thing man and for me it's just a unity in every aspect of life. Do you get yeah. me? When you talk about race, you talk about art, you talk about business, right. you have to find a way to unite multiple multiple things and that's the way you would always come up with new things that would help the world grow exactly. together you know so it's all about you know reaching out to other things finding out more expand your mind do you understand try and learn something new do you know what i'm saying and you know you never know man you could come up with the next greatest idea just that's, from doing that's that so true, do you understand man. and that that's so what it's true. about man so i urge people to you know try and learn more man and like we said reach out to us Please. And let us know what in the comments. I know I'll be reading through the comments because I'm happy. I'm happy to get interactions anyway. So yeah, man. And that's where, you know, that's where, that's my last words basically on this episode. Do you guys have any last words? I've got bro? one quick question that yeah. I want to quickly ask Kofi. <laughs> He's about to ask a major thing. Kofi, what are you wearing, bro? Trust yeah, me. Right? It's, it's, what are you wearing, bro? bro? What's this, what you, what's what's this jumper, jumper that you're your wearing, chest, bro? bro? What is this oh, jumper? What's the brand? Talk to what's us that about, that about this, man. What's that man? What, Seed yeah. Farms? What, Science Not Science? Okay, like, like, what are we doing over there? Science Not Science. Wow. Science Not Science. <laughs> yeah, man. What are we doing over there? Yeah, we're just living. Creative, creative, <laughs> <solutions>. <laughs> <laughs> creative solutions keeping dreams, dreams alive. alive. I think oh, I think we've said enough there. Yeah, man. I think we've said enough. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Creative speak, solutions yeah. keeping dreams alive. Listen, I, listen. Science, I, listen, not science. The first episode, yeah, I told people that Beautiful. this guy, I'm telling you, special, he's special. a genius. Mm. And there's a lot of you guys out there that are geniuses, but you don't know that because you're just stuck in your own lane exactly. do you understand but when you start to reach out you know you start to to expand and and you know interact with other things out there that's the only time you're really going to find out what you're capable of what genius lies dormant within you do you Facts, know what i'm man. saying Facts. and bro kofi has been an 
like, bruv, he's been, it's been an embodiment of that since I've known him. You know, bruv, I've I'm known this guy since lie. I was 13 and I'm Trend not going to lie to you. Trend bruv, I remember back in the days, yeah, we had this um, Adidas tops that came out. It was like Looney Tunes and mm. things like that. This guy, <laughs> bruv, I kid you not, he was drawing, he was drawing on his jackets, yeah. on his trainers, yeah. like, before these, these, these before shoes became a becoming, trend. Yeah, and yeah, I'm like, bro, like, do you have a, a, a ball, a magic <laughs> ball that you see into the future that I don't know about? Facts, facts. Do you get what I'm saying? But imagine that if you were a director at a certain company yeah. and you took that idea, that idea is worth. Yeah, it's do you know what I'm saying? So, I could attest to that. Yeah, man. man. You've bro, definitely you know been saying? a trendsetter. You've definitely been a trendsetter, From man. Like, jump. Absolute genius, my bro. Yeah, man. You know, but yeah, guys. That's it for this one.